Hello friends and family from Disney Springs. I wanted to come out today, just enjoy a beautiful day here at the Springs. There's a lot of new stuff happening. We have the new Gideon's Cookie of the Month, the Coffee Toffee. We have to go ahead over there and try that. I do want to find us a nice bite to eat, somewhere different that we haven't eaten in a while. And there's lots of new merchandise and things happening all around Disney Springs. So I want to take you guys along, show you guys around. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you wear future uploads and live streams we would greatly appreciate it This is actually what we're dealing with here today at Disney Springs. Like I was saying, it is so beautiful outside. Now that the 50th anniversary celebration is officially ended, there's lots of new happenings over at the World of Disney store. So I do want to pop in there at some point. And I'm waiting for the balloon to go up. It, look at all the big puffy clouds. Just so beautiful outside today. I think first up on our list though, I want to head on over and get some lunch over at the Earl of Sandwich. If you guys have never eaten there before, it's definitely one of the most affordable places here at Disney Springs. The food is very, very good. And I do want to check the Disney Pin Trading Company and see if there's any new merchandise in terms of Disney Park pins over there. Let's actually take a quick pit stop over here at Disney Pin Trading and check out the new pins. I like to check out the ones behind the case because those are always the best ones. Over here you have Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Steamboat Willie, definitely some really fun ones right off the bat. The Mandalorian and Grogu one. And look at this really fun one here with Chip and Dale. It actually opens up like all the different acorns like that one is really cool. And then check out these new Disney Darlings ones. You got uh, Cinderella, Jasmine, and Ariel there. Like those are really, really adorable. And here's a brand new one for Easter. 2023 with Mickey Mouse. It looks like you have a little Easter egg there that looks like Mickey and he's in front of Cinderella Castle. Of course you can't forget to take your picture here with Mickey and Minnie with all dressed up in like their Hawaiian outfits. Like they look so good. I think we're gonna head on over here though to the Earl of Sandwich. I do want to show you all of the awesome menu offerings. They're not even that busy today. Sometimes you'll come here and the line is literally out the door. So we're gonna head on over and show you guys everything the Earl of Sandwich has to offer us. They do have a really large size menu outside. The world's greatest hot sandwich it says. They have Earl's Club. They have a Chipotle chicken avocado a tuna melt it does look like these are all eight dollars and 99 cents give or take they have a meatball one that's called cannonballs we're definitely gonna be getting that one today here's some of the pictures though of like the different offerings but they have some awesome soups here even like macaroni and cheese they have bacon mac and cheese and lots of really nice wraps the signage here for the Earl of Sandwich, the world's greatest hot sandwich. And they even have a little thing here. If you guys want to go ahead and scan that, you can scan to order your Earl of Sandwich order online. I don't think I've ever been here before though. Like there wasn't a line like with all of these switchbacks. Like this is really nice. They have all sorts of chips and they even do have some bakery items from Carlos Bake Shop here at the Earl of Sandwich as well. It also says here you can make your meal a combo. Uh, you get a fountain drink in one side. It looks like it's a chips or a cookie for, let's see here, $4.99. And then you could also purchase your soups and whatnot, $4.99. But look at this. They have a whole uh, section dedicated to Carlos Bake Shop. They have these like rainbow cake slices. They look so delicious. $10.95 for those. And they even have black and white cookies here from Carlos Bake Shop. Okay, so I went with the broccoli and cheese soup here at the Earl of Sandwich. It is always fantastic. They give you a little little portion, but it's very, very good. And also, I got the cannonball sandwich. Look at this, though. It actually says cannonballs on there. And again, this is the uh, meatball sandwich that they have here. These are $8.99. I think the soups were about $3.99 or $4.99. All right, let's go ahead, put some salt and pepper on our uh, soup here. They even give you some oyster crackers as well with your soup, which is really nice. Oyster crackers are definitely my favorite. There we go, we're all ready. All right, so this is the uh, broccoli and cheddar soup here at the Earl of Sandwich. Like I was saying, they give you a little pack here of oyster crackers with your soup. 
and it is literally like piping hot. Like I can see the steam coming off that. My mouth is literally watering though. This is so good. <laughs> Delicious. Very, very good. The, the uh, broccoli cheddar soup is literally the only soup I ever get here because it is that good. I highly recommend if you're coming here to the Earl of Sandwich, get the broccoli cheddar soup if you're a fan. Mm, very good. All right, let's go ahead and open the cannonball sandwich here at the Earl of Sandwich. Again, I have had this one before. It's definitely my go-to. It's the meatball hoagie. I want to show you guys this though. Like, look at this. How delicious does that look? Like all of that cheese, all of the sauce and the meatballs. That looks so yummy. All right, let's go ahead and try the cannonball sandwich here at the Earl of Sandwich. So good. The bread is so perfectly toasted. Just the right amount of cheese and the sauce is amazing. This sandwich is incredible. It's really a home run. The soup and sandwich here at the Earl of Sandwich. Okay, so that food over at the Earl of Sandwich was absolutely fantastic. Like, fantastic. Like I was saying, definitely try the broccoli cheese soup. The cannonballs meatball hoagie is delicious. I think we're going to continue on our way here now that rejuvenated. We had some lunch and see what new we can find here at Disney Springs. I think I want to go ahead and check out all the new merchandise here at the Marketplace Co-op at Disney Springs and still see if they have that Orange Bird 50th anniversary photo op that they have. So as soon as you come into the co-op, look at this, they do have the Orange Bird meet and greet. You can actually see the, like where the 50th was, they removed that from there. But it's cool to still see, you have this awesome photo op with the Orange Bird and it does say Walt Disney World. First store up though is definitely the Vault Collection. They have some really fun offerings, like all of the new Walt Disney Studios merchandise. Like these are so cool. Like look at that. It's a little paper holder. It says character model department. Like isn't that cool? $29.99. It's actually like a typewriter. Like that is so much fun. And then over here for $34.99, check out the Disney Era's 100 magnifying glasses that they have. Like you can magnify the, uh, the Mickey over there. Like how cool is that on the hoodie and this hoodie is actually really nice it's embroidered Walt Disney Studios definitely really really good quality I like that so much and then over here is a really fun cup again Walt Disney you have uh, studios Mickey Mouse and Silly Symphony cartoons these are Disney 100 24 dollars and 99 cents for those ones and there's even a bunch of awesome Christmas ornaments look at this one here Mickey Mouse Club like that is actually really nice these are all Disney 100 this one here is 24 dollars and 99 cents for that one now look at this one it's actually like a, a TV it says Disneyland on there has a little pull tab on there looks like it actually plays music this one here $29.99 it looks like they're also having a deal here on Disney van items, 40% off for a limited time. They have some kids t-shirts here. Look at that, you got Goofy, Minnie Mouse, and Donald Duck. They're originally $29.99. And these are actually recently on sale, these hats over at the World of Disney store. They were 50% off, I believe. I think these were originally something like $35 for those ones, now they're 40% off. Over here, they do have those Disney Vans shoes. Still some of the uh, 50th anniversary ones left over. Like that's actually still cool to see those ones. And then check out this t-shirt down here with Mickey and Minnie. It says Walt Disney World. These are originally $30, now 40% off. They do have lots of really fun new Walt Disney Studios merchandise. Like this onesie is really adorable. $29.99, now look how it actually like buttons down the entire side. Like that is really cool. Then over here is actually a brand new spirit jersey. Look at this. It says Mouse in Town. You have Mickey Mouse right there. And I want to show you the backside. This is so cool. It says Mickey Mouse Sound Cartoons. And look at it down here. All the graphics there of Mickey, like these spirit jerseys that they recently put out, are just really nice. And they do have a very nice jacket over here that's embroidered Walt Disney Studios with these pockets on the front. They are... Let's see, $64.99 for those. Definitely really soft though, I like those a lot. 
They also have some new statues here. This one has Tinkerbell. It actually says, welcome to Disneyland. Like that is so nice. The quality of these are fantastic. I, I love that though. Like look at that. You could see like the backside of Tinkerbell on the box. These are very large in size as well. And it looks like they also recently released some new bookends here with Mickey Mouse's uh, feet. Look at that, his little shoes. Like that is so adorable. They're actually really nice. Looks like they also have some brand new Encanto merchandise. Look at this fanny pack. Like this is really nice. Those are $65 a piece and they're actually Disney Parks Loungefly. It says we don't talk about Bruno on the other side. Like that one is really cool. And they do also have a brand new Bruno button down shirt here. These are $59.99. Definitely very, very nice. And check out the women's shirt that they have. This one is a long sleeve. This is so soft though. Look at that whole graphic on there. Like this is really cool $39.99 for that and they do have a brand new dress here as well that's definitely very fancy with all of the frillies for $75 they also have this brand new Disney Parks lounge fly purse it has a bamboo handle it's actually in the shape of a Dole Whip and look at the uh, flower you get on the other side that's actually really adorable I love that a lot like that is really cool and it looks like they even have some brand new shirts here like button downs it's embroidered there with the uh, bird and down here you have a little patch that says Walt Disney's enchanted tiki room like that is really neat and they do actually have a men's shirt as well that says Walt Disney's enchanted tiki room that one there is really soft though $59.99 it's definitely always worth taking a moment to head on into the Marketplace Co-op. They always have some unique items that you're not going to find in some other stores over here in Disney Springs. I do want to head on over to the World of Disney store. Like I said, with the 50th anniversary ending, they moved all of the 50th merch. They have a new Pixar section and also some really awesome Disney 100 merchandise I want to show you. It actually got a little overcast at the moment. It is so beautiful outside today though. It doesn't look like there's anything doing on the waterside stage. But we're gonna head on into the world of Disney. I do wanna show you all the new happenings in here. They literally have the entire store like all moved around, it's crazy. So as soon as you come into the world of Disney, you're greeted by a lot of new merchandise that I wanna show you. Here's actually a new cup that they have. And I love this whole new design. Look at that, you got like all of the Disney characters literally in front of Cinderella Castle. Those are $27.99. And then over here is a brand new spirit jersey that they have. The front side, look at that, you got Dumbo there. You have the uh, Cheshire Cat. Then check out the back side of the spirit jersey. It says Walt Disney World. And on the bottom you have Cinderella Castle, Tinkerbell, Mickey and Minnie. And I love how it's kind of like ombre. This is really cute. For $34.99, they also have a set of four brand new drinkware. Look at that though, you got like the Enchanted Tiki Room, you got Space Mountain, Cinderella Castle. These are really nice. And over here is like a new lantern that they have. It has a little handle. These are tin with this whole brand new design. $34.99 for these. It has a little pull tab down there. This is actually a really fun little lantern. They do have a brand new women's shirt and a denim jacket for this whole new collection as well. Like I was saying though, my last visit here, they literally still had all of the 50th anniversary merchandise over here on the back wall. And now they recently replaced it with all of the uh, Pixar merchandise. I like the new addition though, like it says Pixar, you got the aliens from Toy Story, a fun uh, design there with Lightning McQueen and Sully. Like that is a lot of fun. But there's a lot of new happenings over here that I wanna show you guys. Over here is a really fun uh, Disney Parks Loungefly purse with Lotso and it actually smells like strawberries $75 for that one and there's a brand new hooded spirit jersey with Lotso this is really fuzzy I love this again like it's so fuzzy right there all the strawberries underneath like that one there is a lot of fun but they have a whole new like setup and collection of new merchandise over here with all the Pixar stuff here's a really fun button-down shirt like look at this you got like Bo Peep there you have Jesse Woody these ones are let's see $59.99 for that. There's a new backpack here as well with the uh, aliens from Toy Story. It says, ooh, the claw and who will be chosen? These are again, Pizza Planet. I wanna check the price on those. Only $39.99, that's actually a really large size backpack. 
And then over here is another Disney Parks lounge fly. Look at this one, definitely a lot of fun. You get the little uh, zipper pouch here with the uh, Pixar ball. You can Buzz Lightyear carrying a cheeseburger. Definitely really interesting. This backpack here is $85. A couple other new items here. Look at this, it says ice cold summer. This is a really fun cup. Look at that though. Reminds me of like an icy actually that you'll get in like one of the uh, gas stations or whatnot with the ICs. Those are $19.99 for them. And then right underneath is actually a brand new spirit jersey. It says chillin' and summer. Chillin' and sizzlin' I should say actually. You got like uh, the Pixar ball, Rex down there, and all different sorts of like summer snacks. Like that is a lot of fun. Also, definitely very random. They still have some of the 50th anniversary merchandise left over. And before, like a couple days ago, it was 50% off. And now it's back to full price. But they have the ears right there. Down here are those really nice iridescent duffel bags. These are $39.99 now. And then over here, they also have the, uh, the headband ears for the world's most magical celebration. Those ones are back to full price once again. I definitely wasn't expecting to see 50th anniversary merchandise here. Like they even have some of the Disney Parks lounge flies, like the Haunted Mansion ones, the uh, Dumbo the Flying Elephant, and a couple other offerings, but they're all back to full price. I do want to continue on our way though and check out that awesome Disney 100 merchandise. They have a couple new offerings and you guys are going to love them, like they are really nice. So some new Disney 100 merchandise. They actually have this hoodie. This is really nice. Like all of the Disney characters are embroidered on there. $64.99 for that. And then over here is actually a brand new backpack that they have. I like what they did with all the Disney characters though. Like this looks really good. And you get like a little uh, zipper pull there with a lot of charms on there with all of the characters. $39.99 for this one. Over here is even a brand new button down shirt for Disney 100. These are $59.99 again with like literally every single Disney character. I love the shapes of them though, like they look really cool. And then over here is like a matching t-shirt to the hoodie that we just saw. These ones are $39.99. The 100 on there is embroidered though. And Disney also recently released a brand new Disney Parks lounge fly for Disney 100. And this one is seriously everything. The silver looks amazing, like the zipper pull area, how it's shiny. And look at the uh, badge there that says Disney Parks lounge fly. These are $78 a piece. Even the detail here on the uh, straps for the back, like this is incredible. Probably my favorite Disney Parks lounge fly actually in a while. Even for $24.99, they have a brand new Disney 100 like pair of ears. These are actually uh, Christmas ornaments, but those are really amazing actually. And last but not and last but not least for the newest Disney 100 merchandise, they have a brand new pair of ears. These look awesome. These are Disney 100 lounge fly, $44.99. But look at that awesome bow and then the uh, Disney 100 medallion Mickey like front and center. Like these are really beautiful. Like I love those. I also did want to point out if you're at Disney Springs, check out over here at Amaret's Pastry. They actually have a brand new dessert over here. Look at this. It's a Chippendale macaroon, $6. It's a large macaroon shell filled with chocolate chip cookie dough and dark chocolate ganache with crispies, but they look so good. Now that we've checked out all of the newest merchandise here at the World of Disney and over at the Marketplace Co-op, I do want to head over to Gideon's Bakehouse and get in line for the new Gideon's Cookie of the Month, the Coffee Toffee. That's new for the month of April. Really excited to try the new Gideon's Cookie as well. But that is very tempting over here at Amaret's. That uh, macaroon looks really delicious. Okay, so we made a quick little pit stop into Amaret's Bakery. I actually ended up getting a Mickey Dome. They do have that awesome Chippendale macaroon, which looks delicious. But this is probably one of my favorite snacks on Walt Disney World property. So we're gonna go ahead and try the Mickey Dome. These are really nice though, because you get like a milk chocolate ears and a little milk chocolate Ma uh, Mickey Mouse tail on the backside there. But I can't wait to bite into this and show you. You always have to start with the ears first. Let's go ahead and try the milk chocolate ears. Mm. The chocolate's so like perfectly thin, almost like a sheet of paper. Like they are really, really delicious. Look at that though. It kind of melts in your mouth. Mm. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and cut into the Mickey Dome. I want to show you what it looks like inside. Like, look at this. Like, how good does that look? Get a good piece here. Look at that inside of the Mickey Dome. 
all of that chocolate and there's like little like non-parallels in there. This looks really delicious. So they're actually like little crispy things, not non-parallels, but how good does that look? Hmm. This is like a very like, light and airy dessert too. Very delicious. There's even some beautifully decorated Easter eggs in here. Look at this Riley Princess of the Frog. I guess Ashley made this one here. It's a springtime one. They have an Alice in Wonderland one right there. Look at Pete's Dragon. I never knew they even did this here before. They have Winnie the Pooh. Over here is a Paris one. And they even have Rapunzel's Tower. Like these are really beautifully decorated. I feel like this video has quickly turned into a Disney food review between the Earl of Sandwich over here at Amaretz, and now we're gonna go to Gideon's Bakehouse and try the new Gideon's Cookie of the Month. Look at these beautiful puffy clouds today though. They almost remind me of like Pixar clouds. Like that is so cool. A great photo op over here with a fire breathing dragon and the night kind of fending them off. Like that is so neat. Up ahead, the balloon from Disney Springs is up in the air. Some of the park guests just enjoying this beautiful crystal blue day here at Disney Springs. Got the Rainforest Cafe behind us and also the Lego Loch Ness Monster. Of course, with it being a little bit later in the day now, I always get nervous heading over to Gideon's this late. I'm interested to see how long the wait is, if there's a virtual line as well. Okay, we're just making our way here to Gideon's Bakehouse at Disney Springs. We'll give it a little peek, see around the corner, and kind of see what we're dealing with. See how long of a wait time we have for Gideon's Bakehouse today. It looks like the line actually isn't that bad at all. It just goes down over here in this direction a little bit. Yeah, not too shabby actually. So this is the new Gideon's menu of the month. Gideon's Bakehouse Morning Joe awaits just outside the cemetery gates. Like that is so cool. And again, this is for the month of April. So they do have the uh, coffee toffee cookie, which we're going to be trying this month. But they do have the original chocolate chip, pistachio, peanut butter crunch, banana bread, chocolate chip, cookies and cream, and uh, chocolate, triple chocolate. So lots of chocolate here at Gideon's. All right, let's head on into Gideon's Bakehouse. I'll show you guys around a little bit and we can check out all of the cookies and all of the theming in here because it is seriously like amazing. All of the posters on the walls there. Here's some of the different Gideon's t-shirts that you could actually purchase. I love it in here though. I absolutely love it. These posters though are seriously something else. I always love checking out like their hair and different facial expressions. Like look at this guy here. He's <laughs> so crazy looking. Like all of his hair on the sides of his head and his eyes are kind of like popping out. And this one over here looks so sad. Here's all of the Gideon's cookies. This is the cookie of the month here. The coffee toffee chocolate chip banana bread right there. They do have original chocolate chip the coffee cake cookie, and then the pistachio toffee chocolate chip. I always like to check out the different cakes and slices they have. I believe this one here is the peanut butter and jelly one. Okay, we've officially got our Gideon's bag. We have the new cookie of the month, the coffee toffee. I think we're going to head on over here though, grab ourselves a nice little spot in the shade and go ahead and try it. That was actually really surprising. There was no wait basically at all to get inside of Gideon's today. No virtual line. You were able to just walk up, get in line, and go right in essentially. I think we waited outside maybe 10 minutes at the most. Okay, and here it is. This is the new Gideon's cookie of the month for April. This is coffee toffee. You can see a lot of uh, milk chocolate chips on there and lots of all sorts of other things. I'm not the biggest fan of coffee, so we'll see how this goes. But you always got to try the Gideon's cookie of the month. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check out the coffee toffee cookie. I do want to break it in half and show you guys what it looks like inside. Check this out. That looks very, very dense for sure. It's definitely a very heavy cookie as well, but I'm excited to give this a whirl. The Gideon's cookie of the month for April. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try the new Gideon's cookie of the month, the coffee toffee. Like I was saying, I'm not a fan of like, chocolate cookies in general and it's like a lot of chips and coffee but i do want to try this like i do like the uh 
Probably my favorite, I would say, would be the uh, coffee cake cookie over here at Gideon's. That one is delicious. The banana cookie is amazing. And if you guys remember, I had the PBS, I believe it was called like peanut butter swirl cookie of the month last month. That was fantastic. We'll see what they have for us in store though with coffee toffee here at Gideon's. You do get a, sun, a subtle hint of coffee as soon as you bite into it. If you're a coffee fan though, like this is actually probably gonna be really good. There's lots of chocolate chips on top. I do taste sea salt on top of this as well. It's definitely a very dense cookie, very, very heavy. This is probably gonna be one, as all Gideon's cookies, you're gonna wanna share. It's really good though. Like I said, probably the, uh, the coffee cake is my favorite. The peanut butter swirl is very delicious. But if you like coffee, you're gonna love this one. I had such a great time today hanging out at Disney Springs. Like I said, always great coming out and trying the new Gideon's Cookie of the Month. You can never go wrong with Amorettes, especially the Mickey Domes are fantastic. The Earl of Sandwich was on point today and lots of new merchandise in the co-op and also over at the World of Disney store. Like I was saying, they have everything moved around over there. Lots and lots of new merchandise for sure. If you'd like to further support the channel, please consider checking out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box of this video. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.